Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a photo slideshow using Filmora 9. So it is beautiful and there are some, some ways you can create beautiful slideshow with Filmora, Filmora 9. So this is the timeline. Uh, I just uh, showed you at the begin uh, beginning of this tutorial, the example uh, video. So this is the, the timeline. Let's explain a little bit. Uh, down below, I have a music track. So it's a slow and smooth uh, music track. It's called uh, Turning Slowly. So you can find it on YouTube st uh, Studio, okay? YouTube uh, Library. And the first track, the background track, is uh, all the image I'm going to use. So we have one, two, three. And that is for the first the first way to create a slideshow that you put all your image as a background and then you overlay the same image on top of it okay and in the between between two image I have a bokeh blur number 10 so this is a special effect you can find it in Filmora and this is the image so the same uh, this is the image with uh, uh, with border uh, with border and some motion okay and on top of it I have the lily of the valley pack overlay number four this is the new one you have uh, if you are upgrading to Filmora 9.5 you got this packet uh, this pack inside the, uh, the program in inside the effect tab okay so and the second one uh, we have a white background and the same we have an image and another image overlay on it and we have a border around uh, with the effect and I also activate the shadow shadow of the image and the last one uh, we have two video with the same two video with border and also a white background and we have uh, one more overlay on top of it so there are three ways to create beautiful slideshow in this example now I'm going to create one by one so let's just delete all everything on the timeline first okay and for the first one, uh, let's say that I want to have a photo duration at, at 5 seconds. Then I go to File and go to Reference. And now I go to uh, Editing. And I set the photo duration to 5 seconds. Uh, by doing this, I don't need to uh, change the duration of, uh, of the photo again when I drag and drop it onto the timeline. So you just change it to 5 seconds here. Let's say here. Uh, Five second okay and the photo placement I want to uh, have pan and zoom effect because normally it's just drop or drop to fit but uh, here we have pan and zoom so I I always just my favorite just my personal uh, personal tag I, I always want the, the image to pan and zoom a little bit so it's uh, just my my personal idea so uh, if you don't want it you can uh, select crop to fit or something like that uh, and then I click OK to go back to the timeline. Now the first thing, the first thing I, I select uh, some image, uh, this three image, one, two, three, and then I drag and drop it to the track number one, okay, on the timeline. And now we have this zoom and pan effect for, for the background image, right. So let's just uh, leave it there. I think it's okay for me, but uh, you can adjust the uh, pan and zoom area if you want to uh, select it and uh, you go to this drop and zoom tool and you change the pan and zoom area. But for me, it's okay. Okay. And then I click OK. And the second thing, I go to effect and go to included folder. And I search here for blur. So this at this example, I'm using uh, blur number 10. So let's number eight number seven number nine oh sorry where's number ten uh, here poker blur number ten i drag and drop it onto the timeline to the second track and then i extend it to the full length of the uh, image the duration of the image and now let's preview it so we have a background image and a poker blur on top of the, the background image yes and now uh, I will highlight three images at the background uh, background track, and I press Ctrl C, or I I can right click it and I uh, select copy. I just want to copy it, okay? And then I lock the this track by this icon lock, and then I put the blade head at the at the beginning of the third track, and I press Ctrl V. 
so that's based the image okay now uh, let's uh, select the first image and then I go to effect again go to include it yeah, include it and then I go to utility and I also delete the blur shirt here so here we have border okay and then I drag and drop it directly to the image to create a border for it so this is the border the, uh, the a white border okay and then I can click on the preview window yeah and then I move my mouse to the mm, to the edge of the uh, the image and then I can resize it yeah this is one way okay and I press ctrl Z to undo it or I can double click on the image double click and you find the image tab and we have a transform tab here uh, select it and now I have a scale so let's scale it scale it uh, scale it down okay, a little bit hmm. I think 80 is okay so by doing, doing this I, I, I have the image at the center always at the center and I scale it down 20% um, okay uh, now I can go uh, scroll down to go to the video effect here I can change the border of the uh, border uh, of the image too yeah I can change the color for example I want to have uh, starting with uh, uh, pink and ending with uh, red hmm I think it's okay sorry when I happy with that okay just uh, just uh, also you have the drop shadow here so I can activate the drop shadow I can click on that and I can adjust the, the distance and the blur amount okay the distance at 10 I think it's too much uh, I want to have 5 and then click OK so a 5 it should be okay for me so I click OK so I finish the first one and then uh, I can right click on the first one I select copy effect and then I paste it to the second one and to the second and the third one so if you have other image on the timeline just paste okay to have the same uh, right click and paste effect okay that's the uh, we almost finished the half halfway now let's preview it Yeah, so it's beautiful, right? But uh, I want to add some motion for the image. So for the first one, uh, let's double click on that again and select the motion tab. So I, I want to uh, use this one, bow to zoom in one. I select that and that is for the first image. And again, I click OK and then I double click on the second image and select the motion again and bow to zoom in too okay that is the motion for the second image and now go to the third image double click on the third one and select boom okay yeah but actually you can select any motion here to create the, the motion for your uh, your image it's, it's up to you no need to follow me in this in this part okay and I click OK and one more one more thing I want to add to the image is the transition so I go to the transition tab so my favorite I have 16 favorite transition effect in Fimura 9 so I just use warp zoom 3 and uh, warp, warp zoom 6 and also ripper so for the first one I use warp zoom 3 okay and then I shorten the duration of the transition and for the second one I uh, I use ripper ripper okay so I also shorten it so that we fin finish almost finished and the last one I, I will, I'm going to put uh, lily lily overlay on that lily lily of the day or something okay so I go to effect and find it and uh, go to film stock again 
and here lily of the valley lily of the valley pack uh, and i select this one i drag and drop it on top of my image and i can also extend it to full length if i want so i have some butterfly flying around the scene okay and let's review that is the first way you can create beautiful slideshow using Filmora 9 let's review it So of course it has no music because I have not uh, drag and drop the music uh, uh, file onto the timeline yet. But uh, at the end of the video, I will show you uh, with music, okay? And because I'm going, uh, I'm recording my uh, my voiceover with uh, on my computer, so I cannot hear the music. Uh, that is the first way. Uh, let's go to the second way. Uh, the second way. Let's uh, unlock this. And we need a background, a white background. Uh, let's go to media, media on top uh, top left of the window, okay. And let's go to sample color. And we have white background or any background if you want, gradient uh, or something like that. But I prefer white, okay. So when I drag and drop uh, the white background on, onto the timeline, it also have the duration of five seconds because I set for photo duration is five second, okay. And now I have a white background here and now I need image two image on it and I use this one the first one the first one on track number two and the third one okay so I'm going to use this woman on the third one okay so first thing first we need a border around her also right and we go to effect and select utility again and select border again and drag and drop it directly to her and but this time i want to make it small okay uh, let's select her on the timeline uh, on the preview windows and resize and move it to here okay I think should be fine here but I, I want to change the border to black I think double click on that and go to image and also activate the, the drop shadow for her drop shadow for this image and that's a, that's cool so go to the effect I want to change it change the border to black and this is black also so just one uh, one color black I click OK but the the crop area is not uh, going direct to, uh, directly to her, her eye. I want to do that and I select her and go to crop and uh, zoom tool. Now, okay, now here we have uh, pan and zoom, but uh, we have end here. We are just the start here also. Uh, and then click OK to go back. And now we have the, the effect and then we can copy, copy the effect. And paste it to the second image to make it faster. Now we have two images on the timeline, and we can move it right here. Okay, that's finished, right? And we can add motion for for this image if uh, if you want. Uh, just double click and go to motion. And uh, this time I select face light tree for the first one. And for the second one, I select face light 2. Okay. So now, if we want to uh, to, uh, to to overlay a frame on that, as I mentioned earlier, right? On this one, on this side, I go to effect again. Go to included. Sorry. And then go to overlay. And then we select frame. So there are many frames here. But the one I use is um, mm -hmm, sorry. Uh, the one I use is film one, film one. So just drag and drop it on top, on top, on top track, and then we have beautiful slideshow with frame. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so that's, that is very simple. 
uh, just some way you can uh, I don't know why I mentioned in the earlier of the uh, at the beginning of the video there are three ways actually the second and the third way is the same so you can just there are two way only <laughs> two way the first way to use the background with the uh, image and blur and then your image and some other overlay and the second one uh, use a background solid color and uh, your image and a frame but uh, if you want to to create is faster a faster slideshow then you can just drag and drop it uh, all your image onto the timeline and you have uh, automatic uh, Filmora has automatic pan and zoom effect and it's beautiful and you just overlay something on that okay so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Okay. Bye for now.